thumb and put it in there. Can you guess or do you know how that happened? I don't either. We got this horse when he was eight, and so he came with it. But at some point in time, this long muscle right here that runs down their whole shoulder has been severed. It could be from a kick and, com and it developed compartment syndrome and the, the whole length of that muscle was interrupted. It could be from a laceration. I don't really think it's from a laceration. This course is an introduction to horse production and it's designed for both people that have a considerable knowledge of horse production and also people that ha know nothing about horse production but would like to learn more about it. And we cover the basics from the conformation of the horse, form to function, nutrition, soundnesses and unsoundnesses is what we talked about today. So essentially we talk about essentially what you need to know about horses to be successful or to have them in your if you want to to ride and so what we do is we offer the opportunity for students to come to the laboratory setting here at our um, operation and actually see what they're working on in the lesson this week past week we did our lesson on unsoundnesses um, blemishes and lamenesses in horses and so that's what our lab today was about. We evaluated the difference between a blemish and an unsoundness. We looked at several horses as they were riding and um, tried to pick out which where they were lame or what their lame, what leg their lameness was in. If a student was asking about why they would take this class, I think this class is an elective that if people are interested in learning more about horses, becoming more proficient with horses, learning more about their care and maintenance, I think they're going to, to definitely get something out of this course. If they know nothing about horses and want to know something about horses, it's, it's designed that they, you can be a very beginner, not even know the parts of the horse or the colors or anything, and come out of it knowing you know way more than what you did. And the lab, really adds to that experience. Like since I haven't grown up around horses, like I've only been around them for a few years, I know pretty well nothing about horses. So this class just so I can uh, learn a little more and then eventually own at least one of my own. Uh, my favorite part of the class, uh, it's still it's still early right now, but um, like if today was any example, I, I love the lab. Like I'm a very like hands-on person. I got to see like reading, I knew, okay, just reading, but I'm one of these people I do better if I actually see a horse and stuff. So the lab should be, should be fun. Best part about this course is that we actually get to um, see the horses and see what the book is talking about. Um, especially um, the different movements uh, that the horses make, um, getting to see it in action instead of just looking at pictures in a book. It's, it's kind of hard to picture it in your mind when you're just looking at it in a book. So having this lab is, is perfect for this class. Students that are considering this class, um, I would tell them that um, if they're wanting to learn more about horses in general, this would be the perfect course um, to start with because just it, it covers everything. It covers um, how they move, how uh, they interact with each other. It covers how to take care of them, everything. So um, even if you're just wanting to familiarize yourself with the horse in general, you've never been around one, this, this would be perfect for any of those people. Um, I took this course um, because I've been around horses my entire life. Um, I rode horses professionally when I lived in Texas for a long time. Uh, and this is a completely different discipline for me. Um, I don't know anything about Western horse riding, but uh, that's why I'm here with Linda. and. Um, I took it mostly for fun, but also because I'm doing the completion course for the general ag degree at Missouri State. Uh, if someone wanted to take this course, I would tell them that this is an excellent course for um, someone who wants to learn more about horses in general, 
Um, this is a very good environment to learn. Um, you have the online component, so you don't have to be at a class at any particular time. But Linda was nice enough to offer this lab so that we can get some hands-on experience, which is really good if you have very little experience around live animals. And this is a very good place because it's safe. It's a good environment. We have the indoor for bad weather. Um, we have lots of different kinds of horses, lots of different types, temperaments, and uh, all different sorts of things to look at around here. So it's a really good, it's a really good opportunity for people to get a chance to see a real horse operation.